Hey guys, it's Jimmy Fame, and I want to personally welcome you back to my channel. So yes, I am in my unicorn onesie because I have been chilling hardcore after Thanksgiving. I literally had such an amazing Thanksgiving. It was so much fun. I got to meet so much cool people and spend some time in the Hollywood Hills in this beautiful mansion. And um, yeah, I've been taking it easy because of that. Like it was so much fun the days leading up to Thanksgiving and just like after Thanksgiving is like the chill time. <laughs> So the purpose for today's video is my coming out story. <laughs> and um, so I haven't really like technically came out to my whole family. Um, obviously everybody knows because I mean I have like family members on my social media who like you know stay connected with me and um, I don't hide it anymore but um, yeah there are maybe some family members who I have not like really like talked to about it or just like even brought it up but I mean they know because it's there <laughs> um so it's cool because like this video hi guys I'm gay <laughs> um but yes so I'm gonna start off my coming out story by um the way beginning so um I was not always out and um you know it's weird because like from a young age like I've just it's obvious you know what I mean like I've had gay tendencies and gay mannerisms and um, you know it, it was obvious like way from the beginning um, but not a lot of people like like to talk to me about it and like sometimes when people would mention something it would just be very awkward and a very awkward conversation for me and like only a handful of friends like really knew like who I really told but um, Yes, for the most part, I did not own up to it, and um, throughout my school life, uh, up until I graduated high school, I was not out. Um, and I actually dated girls. Um, one of the best relationships I actually ever have been in was with a girl, and um, it's cool because, like, our relationship was so amazing that, like, she knew that I was uh, attracted to males, and uh, she accepted me for that. And like, it was it was very special. Um, also, um, it was crazy because like, when we were dating, we were just like high school sweethearts. Like, we went to homecoming together, we went to prom together, and it's funny because like, um, there were times where it was super awkward with her, like before I even told her, but like there was always rumors in high school like of stuff and you know she obviously heard some of those rumors and um I remember like one time like we were actually at a party and she was like right next to me and like right next to her was this guy like completely hitting on her and he, she was like oh like I'm here with my boyfriend and she pointed to me next and she was like you're dating the gay guy <laughs> so it was crazy because yes I actually would consider myself bisexual, but like most recently, like I've been more to like guys and like just so yes, um, I was pr pretty much like in the closet through all of my school. Then when I graduated high school, um, I actually started dating my first guy, and. Um, he played a big role in my coming out because, um, A, he was also not really out and, um, he actually dated one of my really good friends and, like, when he, like, confessed his love to me, it was, like, very crazy because, like, she was really, like, close to me and I just, like, I'm like, wait, like, does the girl rule count if you're not even a girl? And for those of you who don't know what the girl rule is, is you do not date or hook up with your friend's like partner or boyfriend or like someone who your friend is talking to because it's just like against the rules of feminism <laughs> so anyways I did call her and uh, I did consult with her first you know like I just didn't want to seem like a bad friend and you know I kind of asked her and let her know like what was happening and you know I was like hey like you know he, he's gay and like I did I was like does the girl rule count for me and she's like 
thankfully she gave me her blessings and she was cool with it and you know um, I then proceeded and I continued to talk and um, you know date him and um, dating him was very very um, like learning experience because it was my first ever like real boyfriend um, it was like so cute like he's just like he was like so dreamy and like I don't know I just like I genuinely like loved him and um it was hard because like there would be like times where I would not see him for like an extended period of time and it was like we would just pick up right where we left off and like every time we would pick up it was just like another level of like connection with each other and it was just like honest true like genuine love and unfortunately that did not end well um my heart was broken <laughs> but yes um he actually we were with his brother one day and um out of the blue he just is like hey by the way I'm gay and I'm dating Jimmy and I'm just sitting there like and like it was so cute because his brother was like I'm all for it like I accept you for who you are like and that inspired me so much because it's like wow like he literally just did that and I it, I felt so free for him so like I can only imagine how free I would feel like if I told my family and so that's exactly what I did um, the following day I pulled my younger brother and sister aside and I sat them down and I was like hey I'm gay and he's my boyfriend so basically the same thing he did I did and my brother and sister were just like okay like we knew that <laughs> and I was like okay okay so that was like the easiest part was my brother and sister just because like I knew like my brother and sister like you know like would be accepting I love them so much. Now, the next part was a little bit tougher, and that's because um, it was my mom. And, um, you know, I didn't get to tell my mom, like, I wanted to tell my mom, like, personally, like, face to face. Um, but my mom, like, throughout my life has also been, like, um, absent for periods of time. And that's because my mom has been deported. And so, when I did come out to my mom, it was basically a phone call, and um, it was hard because I just did not feel comfortable telling her over the phone, and so I was just, like, frozen. I was just like, I have something to tell you, but I don't know how to tell you, and then my mom was like, oh, if it's what I think it is, I already know, and I was like, whew, whew. <laughs> you made that easier, but it was quite the contrary because, um, a few weeks after I came out to my brother and my sister and my mom, um, it was Pride weekend in um, DC. So, and to celebrate, it was just like a celebration of being gay and being with someone who was also gay and just like exploring like the gay world, you know? And we went to Pride together and we took amazing pictures and one of the pictures was actually of me um, kissing my ex-boyfriend. And my mom, like, calls me and she's like, it's okay for you to be gay, but it's not okay for you to make an exhibition of yourself. And I'm like, but th that's not, that that's contradicts yourself. Like, you can't just tell me to, it's okay for me to be gay, but not okay for me to, like, show that I'm gay and so um, that was very hard for me because I com cut communication with my mom off and um, I didn't talk to my mom for an extended period of time um, but now my mom's so much more accepting my mom and I have such a good relationship um, even though it's like from afar I haven't seen my mom for five years or something like that but I just know that like we talk constantly and I tell my mom who who I am as a person and like what I do and um, it is a blessing. And last but not least, my father. Um, I actually didn't officially come out to my father until the beginning of this year 
which came two years after I told my brother and my sister and my mom and the rest of my family found out through social media. Um, but it was just something I did not have the guts to bring it up with my dad just because I was raised in a traditional Hispanic household and like I've always like clashed with my dad like um, traditional Hispanic men are like super macho and super like straight edge and I just I didn't I didn't have things in common with my dad like I did not like any of the stuff he liked like cars and sports and um, all on top of that, like, my dad would always criticize me and just, like, question me about, like, certain things, like, like, why I wear certain clothes or, like, why I wear makeup. Um, but it came to the point where I just had enough. And it started over an argument because I had acrylic nails on. And he asks me, oh, why do you have those nails? You're not a girl. And finally, I was just like, Dad, I'm gay. <laughs> and since then, my dad actually has never brought it back up. And, like, um, you know, now he, like, respects it, I feel like. And um, I think that's basically, like, what he wanted was he actually just wanted to be included. And he wanted me to, like, like tell him who I am and, like felt completely liberating after I told my dad because I had just gotten everybody out of the way and like whoever else finds out that's none of my business you like me or you don't I'm happy the way I am and you know I feel like coming out is such a liberating process and if anything I hope my video inspires someone to come out and you know like own up to who you are and you will feel so happy at the end it's not even like funny how happy you will become but yeah that was my coming out story and thank you guys so much for um watching my videos and please 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 don't forget to hit subscribe and like and please leave comments Mwah!